Hey guys, it's your friend John here. Yes, that's right. Today, I'll be making another trend club. Every time I make a trend club, you guys seem to really like it and go crazy for it. And today, I'll be making another one, only this one is going to be easy to make. Now, the first thing you need is a chain. This is a long chain, metal chain. It's basically two metal dog collars that I took and I put together and this is one of the things you're gonna need. After that, you're gonna need a bunch of little nails, something to hold that chain in place. After you get your nails and chain, you're gonna need a pole, a nice wooden long pole, something you can grip your hand on and strike someone with, something you can use as a club. And the last thing you need is some form of gripping, cord or cotton cord, leather, lacing, something you can use to wrap around the handle so your hand doesn't slip off. I'm using black cotton cord. Now you see how I have the chain all wrapped around. That's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to put a bunch of these little nails all around to hold it in place. And the nail end will be sticking out just a little bit so we have extra points of impact. So I got my handsaw right here and I'm going to cut it right where I marked it. It's going to be about 25 inches long. So now I'm just going to start cutting. <laughs> Now I'm going to sand this edge down with the belt sander so it's nice and flat and smooth. Looks a lot nicer now. Now let's take a blowtorch and gently darken the wood with the blowtorch so it has a nice dark look to it. Now, take some sandpaper and wet sand it. Get it all wet and just start wet sanding. Now, I'm going to start applying the clear coat. Now you can see I have my chain here and it's a little too shiny for me. I'm making a trench club and I want the trench club to look old, not shiny and new. So to help give it a vintage look, I'm going to take a red scuff pad and I'm going to scuff down the shine on this chain so it has a more dull vintage look to it. Okay, now you can see I have my chain all here and done, and you're noticing the color is different. I painted it a flat black because I want my trench club to look old and vintage, and even though I scuffed it down and I removed a good amount of that shine to it, it still had a little bit of a clean metal look, and this flat black paint really makes it look old. I have an old vintage chain here, and you can see it's not black, but it has a dark gray color to it just from being old and used. So I think the black paint kind of represents that a little bit, making it look old. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wrap it around this top part and then I'm going to add nails to hold it in place. You can see I have three nails in the chain already, holding it in place so the chain doesn't slide all over the place as I'm putting the nails in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill some holes in and then I'm going to put the nails in so you can see how it's done. Make sure when you hammer it in, the nail goes through the loop here and on here for better security. Now to really hold those nails in place so they don't come out, I'm going to use 24 hour Gorilla Glue and I'm going to pour it in this little hole. Then I'm going to take my nail and I'm going to put it in that hole with the glue in and just hammer it back in. 
and just take a little wet rag and just clean off that glue. And what that glue will do is it will really secure the nail in there so it doesn't come out while it's being used. Now that I got all my spikes in and this top part is done, now I'm going to put the handle in and I got a nail right here to hold the cord so it doesn't unravel as I'm adding it on. So just take your cord and start wrapping it around your handle and make sure you pull it nice and tight so it doesn't unravel or become loose over time. So as you can see, I got my handle all wrapped on nice and tight. What I'm going to do at the end is at the end, you're going to loop it right over just like that. And then you're going to put a nail in to hold it so it doesn't unravel. And then you take this little extra and you just cut it off. So cold you can see my breasts. So I got my trench club here. It's all done. The grip is done. The top is done. I added this part right here for my wrist so my wrist doesn't come out as it's being used. And now I'm going to give it a good strength test. The first thing I'm going to test it on is this cardboard box that has a water jug in it filled with water. And we're going to see if it can penetrate this cardboard. I drew the devil on this side. This is going to be the side I'm whacking. You know he's the devil because he had the mustache. He had the little pitchfork. And he also had pizza with pineapple on it. Only the devil would come up with such a horrible, horrible thing. So now we're going to see how strong it is by piercing this cardboard with the water jug filled with water inside. Now we're going to strength test it on Junkman Woody over here and see how it holds up against him. So as you can see, it survived the strength test. It did a lot of damage to Junk Man Woody. A couple of nails were bent, but I was able to easily straighten them out. This is a pretty deadly weapon. And honestly, during World War I, there was a lot of trench clubs that had a very similar design to this one. Something with a chain wrapped around it. It has spikes sticking out. And I did it based off that type of design. And I can see why some soldiers would have a design just like that. It's a very, very lethal design. So I'm going to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a new subscriber, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please like it. Please comment on the video as well. If you want to help me get more viewers and more subscribers, please share the video on social media, whether it's Reddit, Facebook, or other social media platforms. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.